Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at the 2019 Chevrolet Cruze. The Cruze is available in an LS, an LT, and a premier trim level. Uh, LS is really nice equipped. When you go into your LT, you're gonna get your automatic climate control. You're gonna get remote start, power driver seat, and alloy wheels. And when you go into a premier, you add leather. All of these cars are available in sedan or hatchback. All these trims, I should say, are available in sedan or hatchback. And you can get them in a 1.4 liter turbo Ecotec four cylinder. And that's paired with a six speed automatic transmission producing 153 horsepower and 177 foot pounds of torque. Or if you go with a diesel, you're looking at 137 horsepower, 240 foot pounds of torque with a nine speed automatic transmission. It's a great looking car. And you know what, the customers who have these that we've sold these to, they put a lot of miles on them. They're usually doing a lot of highway driving, that sort of stuff. And uh, I mean, we're rural, rural Alberta here. So a lot of gravel roads, that sort of stuff, they hold up really well. And you can see it's still a great looking car. It's a car that, as we already know, is gonna be discontinued in another year and a half here in Canada, two more years in the US, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. You, we've seen car sales in Canada in the last uh, four years, and it also in the US, I should just say North America, we've seen double digit declines in full size cars, mid size cars, and small cars have been on the decline eight, 9% every year for four years. So when you're talking about SUV sales are at all time highs, it makes sense. Something's getting gouged, and what's happening, people are buying, SUVs instead of cars these days. And so let's get into this one a little bit more. Let's talk about, say, a couple really big reasons to get into this car. So number one, it's a great car. It's a great looking car. And people buy these cars because they're so fuel efficient. So if you're in the US, you're looking at in the diesel, an incredible 37 US uh, miles per gallon overall fuel economy, which is 6.4 liters per 100 kilometers here in Canada. So incredible fuel economy and if you're just doing highway driving with that diesel you're looking at 4.6 liters per 100 kilometers for highway driving now if you look at the turbo gasoline you're looking at 32 us miles per gallon overall which would be 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers here in canada also this car has got a pile of storage it's another good reason to look at this car pull some of this out take a look inside it's really square it's really tall as well you can see there's lots of storage in a sedan like this one here this happens to be an LT you're looking at 394 liters of uh, cargo so storage and if this was the hatchback you're looking at 600 and about 40 645 liters of storage now with the hatchback, because again, it's taller back here and you can fold down the seats flat as well. You don't have this deck lid here taking away some of the, the volume because again, it's, it's the hatchback. You're looking at uh, 1,340 liters of cargo with those seats folded down. So pretty awesome that way. The car is a very comfortable, quiet and smooth car as well. You can see there's lots of room here in the back down low on the floor you've got a couple usb ports i mean you know i've said this before i'm six foot 260 pounds i can get in this back seat my feet go right up and under the seats here i still have a couple fingers say six fingers of knee room so there's plenty of room for four adults in here but if you had a couple you know younger kids teenagers there's definitely room back here for three it's a really nice looking interior in this car as well it's very comfortable uh, we sell a lot of the LT True North Edition, which is what this car is. So I'll show you right here. This is Canada, mind you. So we're looking at about a 25.5, and it's got all kinds of advanced safety features. So you can see we've got a rear park assist, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, keyless entry, keyless open, keyless start, eight-way power driver's seat. So we got lots of additional equipment on this trim out level as well. You can see we've got the nice soft touch materials here on the door. Nice chrome accenting as well. You got your power mirrors, all your power door locks and windows. 
you've got your trunk entry there. You can pop, so say if somebody's just gonna throw some groceries in real quick. You can saw, see when I was there, I just touched the button in the back and it opened up. You can see that power driver seat here as well. You can see the blue stitching on this. It looks really, really nice. It's very nice bolstered as well, so to keep you comfortable. So I didn't adjust that power seat at all, and you can see this is tons of room for me. This is how I would drive this car. So again, you have lots of room in here. And, you know, let's just go over it real quick. So pretty straightforward here. You can see we've got auto start stop. And this is something new for 2019. You've got this button right here. So you can enable or disable that auto start stop. So again, depending on if it's cold out, that sort of stuff, you don't want it engaging, you're in a lot of stop and start traffic, you want to disable it. You can just push that button and now it's off. You can see we got traction control and we also have the rear sonar, the beep, 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 beep sensors in the back. And of course, when you put it in reverse, you also have a standard backup camera in this vehicle as well. Um, looking at the infotainment system, this is a screen a lot of people are gonna be looking at. So you've got a new split screen uh, or dual view uh, display here now. Hit the home button, audio, 99.5, XM radio, hit the home button here, slide, Let's say if we want to go to, um, you know, we want to use our Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So pretty straightforward. If my iPhone was plugged in via USB or my Android phone, this would be lit up and then the screen would turn into your Android phone. So you've got the familiarity of your own device. Of course, you've got 4G LTE Wi-Fi, your outside temperature sensor and your time right there as well. You can have multiple phones paired to the system, multiple iPads and whatnot connected via the Wi-Fi hotspot as well. Moving on down here again, because this is the Premier, or sorry, the LT with the True North, we have the heated cloth seats as well. Okay, you can see there's three levels of heat for driver and passenger. And you do have automatic climate control, so you just turn that dial and it gets set to where you like it. And you can have an optional sunroof. We didn't get one in this model here, but you can have an optional sunroof as well. But um, you can see down here, you got some connectivity options, you got some USB. If you've got that old uh, iPod from, uh, say, Wally, -E, you can plug in your auxiliary here and you've got an old style power adapter here as well. Okay, uh, what's nice about this car is even though it's an automatic, you can put this down into L right here and use the plus minus to drive this. And you can see right here, L1, L2. So you can drive it and it'll hold its gears. And again, you can, you know, say you're going downhill, that sort of thing winter driving you want to slow down at an intersection really good option for you as well but it's a smooth quiet comfortable car um, extremely fuel efficient and it's a good looking car and right now here in canada we've got three to four thousand dollars off these cars depending on the trim um, or you can choose zero percent financing for a long term so again now you're talking at a talking say take four grand off of this one you're looking at a twenty one thousand dollar car and it's really well equipped but there you go, here's a short one for you today. It's a great car, and you know what, maybe if, uh, if you want a little bit of in insider information, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, GM is getting rid of this car. I think this is a great car that's, uh, we've, you know, we've got customers that have traded in these cars with, you know, 150, 160,000 kilometers of hard, you know, we're talking gravel roads, that sort of stuff. And they're still a really nice riding and driving car. You put some new tires on it, put a new windshield in it, and they're a really nice car. And you know what? There's there's small families out here uh, that like this uh, price point and this size of car. Like I said, I'm a big guy. I still fit in this very comfortably. My knees are not jammed up in the dash or anything like that. And I can push the seat. I mean, I can put the seat all the way back here. And again, if you're if you've got long legs, now I'm not even touching the pedal anymore. I can't even reach it. Here we go, I'm, I'm using my tippy toes. So there's piles of room in this car, even if you're really tall as well. But again, great car. You know, it's just the economies of what's going in, or the economics of what's going on in the, in the world these days. And again, the market shifts that are happening. People are buying more SUVs than ever before. But mark my words, it'll be just like, say 2007, 2008. Uh, you know, our liter of fuel here in Canada was about a buck 50, a buck, a buck 60 and everybody flocked back to buying cars again. And right now gas is 99 cents a liter here in Alberta. Some pumps you can get up for 92, 93. And if gas goes back up to a buck 50, a buck 60 a liter in say three or four years from now, 
General Motors, Ford, everybody will be making more cars again. And that's just the cycle of the automotive industry and, and how it's connected to the oil industry. And uh, you know what? We see lots of advancements in technologies like this auto start stop to uh, help you save uh, fuel. But again, uh, with you know your battery packs, all that sort of stuff with uh, hybrid technology that's coming out, um, you know, maybe we're not going to be using much gasoline anymore in these smaller cars because, again, they're so light compared to a truck or an SUV that these are the ideal vehicles to be your hybrid powertrains. But there you go, folks. Another one-take shoot from Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. Have a great day.